This video isn't real. It was generated from a single photo using AI in CapCut. With the power of AI, we can now enhance any video to 4K or even 8K quality. We can copy the color grading of any movie and make our video look cinematic. You will also learn how to generate amazing AI images based on your portrait, make smooth animations like this and much more. Let's dive in. Starting with the first trick, how to improve the quality of any video. I'll use this video as an example. It already looks great, but the tools I'm about to show you will make it even better. First, click on the video, go to the Basic tab and turn on Enhance Image option. If you pick HD, it will make the video look cleaner and more natural. UHD takes it further, adding sharper and more vivid details. I'm choosing UHD and as you can see, it really enhances the video. We can zoom in and see how much better the details are now after using the Enhance Video feature. Now I'm going to show you another trick that will blow your mind. Go to the Filter tab, then the Pro Sub tab and find the 4K filter. Just drag it onto your video, then adjust the intensity on the right side of the screen. Set the intensity so the video looks natural, I set mine to 42. Here is how the video looks after applying this cool filter. But that's not all, there is also an 8K filter that makes the video even sharper and more detailed. Now I'll show you an amazing trick to generate AI images from your own photos. Go to the Media tab and click on the AI Image sub tab. Here we can add a reference image, I'll choose this photo. Next we choose Water Reference. There are plenty of options, but I'll go with Character since it fits my image. We can also adjust the intensity to fine tune the final result. Once everything looks good, just click Save. Now we'll describe the image we want in the text box. I will use this short prompt. The more details you enter, the better the result will be. Below, we'll pick a model and aspect ratio. I'll use 16x9, which is great for YouTube thumbnails. Once everything is set, hit Generate and wait for the process to finish. We'll get 4 AI images that we can easily download. Now that we've covered the AI image generator, let's jump into turning an image into a powered video. You're gonna love this. Just below the AI image feature, you'll find the AI video option. Here we can easily import a picture, then choose one of the models that fits best. For my image, I chose the first option. After that, you can adjust other settings and add a description or just leave it empty and let the AI work its magic. Once everything's set, click generate and wait for the process to finish. And here is what the video looks like after using this awesome AI feature. Now let's jump into some epic color grading tricks to take your videos to the next level. First, click on the video and go to the adjustment tab on the right side of the screen. Here you can turn on Auto Adjust and adjust the intensity to your liking. It will automatically make your video look better. Next, activate Color Correction, which will enhance the colors and you can adjust the intensity to get it just right. Now for my favorite part, Color Match. Turn it on and you can pick any frame from the timeline or even import a scene from a movie or photo with the color grading you want to copy. I chose this photo I downloaded from Unsplash. Click OK and then adjust the intensity to your liking. You can easily compare the before and after and this tool can really save you time. Now let me show you a pro trick for smooth keyframe animations. Select your clip, then add the first keyframe. I'll create a zoom animation as an example. Next, go to where you want the animation to end Enlarge the video and position it. Right now the animation looks like this. But to make it smoother, right click on the keyframe and select preset curves where you can choose from some great presets. Personally, I like using cubic out and these animations in my videos. With this simple trick, your videos will look way more professional. The cool thing is that we can move the keyframes which will change the duration of the animation. Now I'm going to show you a simple trick to blur moving objects or people in a video. I'm using it for this video and it's super easy. Right click on your video, 
then copy and paste it above on the timeline just like I did. In the next step, we'll apply a blur to the video above. Go to the Effects tab and in the Lens sub tab, select the blur effect and add it to your video. Now adjust the intensity on the right side of the screen to get the look you want. Then click on the mask, choose the circle mask and position it over the subject. We will adjust it by moving the corners of the mask or on the right side of the screen. To make the mask follow the subject, just activate the track mask option below and wait for it to finish. Once that's done, your video should look like this. With that trick done, let's move on to an exciting new tool, CapCut's screen recording feature. You'll find this feature right on CapCut's homepage. Once you select it, you can choose to record a specific window or your entire screen. After that, you'll see more options. You can record yourself using your computer's camera while screen recording and even add a voiceover. When you're ready, just click Start Recording. As an example, I'll record adding a video to CapCut to show you how it works. We can use it to easily capture tutorials, gameplay or social media content for quick editing and sharing. Once you stop recording, you'll have the option to use text-to-speech feature, download the clip or edit it right away in CapCut, which is super handy. Now, here is a great trick, using editing packs to instantly make your videos look even better. For the best editing packs, I use Aegis, you'll find the link in the description. It offers several free editing packs, like free sound effects. Here are some examples. It also offers starter pack with great effects you can download for free. In the description you'll find a tutorial where you will learn how to install Aegis Pack Manager. If you want to take your videos to the next level, you can check out the super power effects or realistic special effects like this. The booster pack packed with cool assets for content creators and even fire and explosion effect packs. There is also a huge discount on the I want it all bundle, check out the link in the description to see everything included. Now let me show you how to use them in CapCut. Just select a pack, download the effect you like and add it from the folder to CapCut. Drag it onto the timeline, click on it and choose a blend mode, I'm using screen. Now my video looks like this. Check out more CapCut tutorials here to bring your videos to the next level. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful videos.